All right, what's happening, guys? It's your boy right here, Jig, and welcome to another episode of Dumb Funny, where I invite all my dumb friends and we talk about funny shit, okay? And to my right, I got my boy right here, the comedian, the producer. He is the Pharrell Williams of comedy. Yeah. My boy right That's here, shit. Ferg. What's up, everybody? I hope I look light skin on here. It's beautiful lighting. Hey, I can't wait. You we black. Gonna have a, black as fuck. I saw me on the stream today sitting next to this girl who was Chris Brown colored. Boy, I look like a whole. All you saw was GD flow. <laughs> I was like, "Ooh, this is bad." Dark, bro. Midnight, dog. Boy, dog. bro, this shit be sad when you got a stream. You need extra lights. There you go, cup. Yeah, cup. You feel what I'm saying? Go ahead, pour it in go there, ahead. dog. Yeah. I'm only drinking because it's with y'all, man. I seen y'all grow and be great out here in these Atlanta streets, man. You feel what I'm it's saying? It's amazing to see, bro. I remember when I walked in the basement of y'all. I was like, "What the fuck is this shit?" <laughs> it's wild, is because all right, so. Right when you had your uh, your podcast with the bro code, that's a week before I started going up there. That's crazy. So we missed each other by like that. That's crazy, bro. Hell yeah. I just was up there like, what, what, where are we at right now? Like, we got in somebody's basement going crazy. That is the crazy thing about a bro code for all y'all don't know. Bro code with Simba, where I make dark humor dad jokes at. It's in Kennesaw, and it's like in the, the suburbs, in this Very. big ass mansion. But then you go through the backyard, yep. through a mud pit, essentially. Oh, I ain't and going then that you side. go. <laughs> I went on the other side. I keep going on the side. I'm just so used to going to that side for real, for real. I even dress down my shoes type shit. Like, and then it's like, bro, you go in there and it's sketchy, bro. I remember, bro, the first time I went up there, dog. All right, so I was just fucking with this 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 girl. I got some sloppy toppy, bro. Like the sloppiest of toppies, bro. Best thing to have. And life. then and then um like one of my homies is because I'm signed to an agency. He invited me out. We're signed to the same agency. So I'm driving there, bro, and it's like a a 45 minute drive. I'm like, bro, I could have been. I could have been guts deep in this girl Absolutely. right now. So I, I hope this joint is worth it. And then I pulled up to d down the dirt path into that sketchy ass motherfucking that door. The and I knocked door. in. Yeah. Met everybody, bro. And it's been history ever since. I dog. was like, yo, it was one day. It was an Asian dude in there with like crazy yeah. colored hair. My bad. And then this shit was crazy. I was like, what? What are we doing? Like, I literally was trying to figure out what was going on. I was like, so we just making video. I right, bet this is cool, but this shit crazy as hell. <laughs> they was getting lit. They was so drunk. I was like, oh, it was during the pandemic, too. Oh, so that was like in the. They was drunk, yeah. drunk. Like, bro. I was like, y'all gonna keep drinking? Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and to that, cheers. Cheers, you know man. What, what you shot? drinking on? Oh, uh, Terramana. Terramana okay. tequila. Mm -hmm. Tequila. That's the one with the skull. No, nah, that's all. Uh, I think that's, that's balloon. I'm Ooh. gonna sip like a whore. Cool. Oh, you gonna sip like a whore? Oh yeah, I can't. I can't take a shot for real. Mm. I'm only taking a shot if I'm kissing somebody's daughter in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I respect it, bro. I respect it. All right, we got a shot o'clock. Every 15 minutes, you feel what I'm saying? We have a countdown. You feel oh, what I'm saying? This is gonna be crazy, bro. I did. Wait, wait, I'm definitely sipping every 15. There we go. Yeah, yes, sir. People you gonna be here messed up, don't they? We be in here turnt, bro. Man. Turnt in the ass, dog. All right. So how we start this pod? Every single time we have a complimentary drip check. So just walk the people through the drip that you got on right now. You dressing very Atlanta right now. I guess so. So I got so y'all don't see these, but I got on some. You, you kick them Jones. The up, hot man. ones. If you ever seen the ones uh, when the white dude who be giving the wings with the hot sauce? Oh yeah, hot it's a limited edition hot ones Reebok. Uh, oh shit! Answer. You see, they got a Scoville's on the front. Oh damn! Yeah, that's crazy. So I've been in here fucking these up, doing all sorts of Atlanta stuff. Damn! I didn't know they had. I just saw them. I was like, that's a cool color. And I looked at it like, wait, they got a sneaker? That's crazy. that was hard. Like I was like, oh, I had never seen it before, so I just grabbed it. Shout out to Hot Ones. They do some of the best interviews. Crazy, the crazy good interviews, interviews, man. Yeah. You'd be like, man, I need to watch this without the hot wings, man, so I could get a good depth feel of this person. Yeah. But let me see. Okay. Uh Mountain Dew. Shouts out to HBCU Gaming. I yes, did sir. a I produced a show with Mountain Dew. This is some of their merch. It's cross colors. You can't see it on the back. Mm -hmm. Uh this is a Mifflin jacket, black on. By the way, that shit hard, bro. Yeah, it's it's getting it's it's getting Mifflin weather, and I need to get a different one. I want to get a blue one though. I don't know. That, uh, shout out to Mifflin. I don't know where y'all at. Y'all can go ahead and send me a jacket. Send him one too. Yes, sir. He need, to, he need to send you one. My man out here living his best life, and then I got uh, my man Tyler Creator is one of the head writers on Wildin' Out. This is his brand. Mm -hmm. GED stands for Get Every Dollar. So. Get Every Dollar. And then I got the dangles for the hoes. Hey, shout out to my unks that be wearing the goddamn dangling earrings. 
It's for y'all who do cocaine a little bit. <laughs> I don't do it, but it is be like people think I do. Uh, hey, I think it's because of the people you hang out with for real. For real. It's weird. When well, you get to a point where you have a little bit of a uh, and you up there with some people, people just be thinking you do it. And I, I got a two, I got a two ask policy. You ask me two times, then I'm gonna do the motherfucker. <laughs> but if you if you, if you ask me one time, I'm gonna deny it off rip. I don't know who you is because you don't know. Yeah, you don't know what it be, bro. You don't know, bro. <laughs> Usually, if it ain't meant for you the first time Back. you decline. It, they'll be like, all right, cool, 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 cool. Hey man, because in Atlanta, cocaine will be around you. Don't let don't let these shit uh fool you. Cocaine is not a white person drug. Oh black no, people, rich no. black people do it, man. Yo, they do for hey, real. That's how I knew I was doing well in life. I was on a, <laughs> I was on a pont- I was on a boat <laughs> at Lake Lanier. I saw two Crips do cocaine in front of me on the boat. And I was like, yo. At Lake Lanier? Bro, on a 4th of July, bro, with strippers. <laughs> we had strippers on the boat. Oh yeah, that's co- that's cocaine activity. Man, mm-hmm. I was not ready for what they was doing, bro. I was like, yo, y'all doing coke in front of me. I felt like a kid. It's like, oh my god. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> like we can do this. <laughs> Guess that's what you. How do. long ago was that? July, whenever the Fourth of July was. Oh, this is the most recent. That, yeah, and I was. This was when Dang. I was at my brokest, bro. This is how I knew I was doing good in life. I ain't had no money, but the people around me was doing cocaine. So I was like, all right, I'm doing I life right. Know. I'm doing it right. You know, that's one crazy thing about Atlanta too. It's like as long as you cool and you vibe, and you can end up around some people who got money, you can do rich nigga shit and it make it really look like you a rich nigga. Bro, man, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even try to finesse people. You don't. You just you be like, don't. oh, this what we doing today? Well, fuck it. Mm. That's man. That's that's literally how Atlanta is. It sounds crazy to people that don't live here, but if you live here and you just be around the people, you'll be like, "What are we doing right now? We going to the strip club?" And then you find out somebody a rapper with a Grammy and they throwing thirty thousand at the strip club, and you just happen to be there in the vicinity that day, and they'll hand you the money to throw. Facts. That shit's so cool, bro. It's so crazy. That shit's so cool. Atlanta is really. It's like it's because I'm originally from Virginia. I moved down here like two years ago. Uh, so just watching, like I, I always watched Atlanta, and I always thought like when you see up. the show Atlanta from Donald Glover, you realize like when you come down here, Atlanta, it's really some unexplicable ass shit. You like, can't. Explain it, it's it. so just strange and not not normal. But it's just, it's, but it's normal to it's like normal. if you live the longer you live here, the more you be like. Like, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. It's Atlanta. Yeah, but it's always on some, I feel like it has layers to it. I feel like it's more like, it's not like New York. New York crazy and shit, that's yeah. in front of your face. You know when somebody's yeah. crazy, you know when somebody's psycho, they'd be like standing outside just yelling at people randomly or fucking doing handstands butt naked in front of <laughs> Times Square and type shit, you feel what I'm saying? I feel like here in Atlanta, it's just like, I don't even know how to put it, bro. It's like you just so happen to be around the person bro. who sells cocaine to like your favorite rapper. Yo, it's crazy. Wow. Shit. And then you go on a whole entire adventure with them the whole entire day, the bro. The whole day, bro. Nigga, that's how I end up knowing people do like drugs all the time. That's rich, man. Bro, I met, uh, shout out to my, I met a homeboy who got a Grammy with Kanye. Yeah. He's a rapper at my homeboy's house randomly. Damn. And I'm listening to it? music. Uh, shouts out to Mike Twice. Shouts out to my man Mike Twice. Mike Twice. Mike he Twice. wrote on I don't want to say not the not the it might have been a gospel album. Oh yeah. But he was a, he like an Atlanta rapper for real. Oh, and he, he said he got a call. He thought it was a joke. And, then, <laughs> and like I met him. He's like, yeah, man. And my homeboy, like, hey, yeah, man, Mike got a Grammy. I'm like, what you got a Grammy doing? He's like, man, I produced some shit, wrote some shit for Kanye. I was like, whoa, nigga, what? Kanye West, bro. Uh, we had, ended up smoking one day. He's like, yo, I got some more. You think that crazy? Listen to the tracks I got. So I'm looking at his phone. All this shit got the names of the people that he worked with. Oh, really? Nigga, he put a song on. <sighs> Nigga, it was Rihanna. Oh! Never woo. heard this song ever in my life. Woo! I'm sitting in the car like, what the fuck am I? Where am I at right now? This nigga playing songs with Rihanna in it. Yo. That shit crazy. That will never hit the radio. Never hit the radio, bro. You know, that's one thing is because I started as a producer. Crazy. That's the only reason I'm down here. Music? I used to, yeah, I used to work in the I studio. I used to work at that. Death Star. Yeah. Wow. So I do more TV and film now. I'm gotcha. not. That's dope. So, like, social media has been like the main. It'd be shit. going. But I have my boy on here, Mike Mixer. Mike Mixer has done a lot as far as like production with CEO Trail, Lil Got It, YB mm-hmm. in the Mirror. But he had this one song that leaked, I want to say like a couple of months ago. It was Future and Uzi. It was going to be like his like, like top, like. It's gonna go crazy. That's that shit was going to give him his billboard. You feel what I'm saying? Shit did like, I think it's up at like 2 million right now on YouTube, bro. 
Bitch, leak fucked up the whole entire way that that uh, shit was going to go out, finna bro. finna go crazy. Bro, finna go crazy. But shout out to Mike. Mike recently got signed to Warner Chapel. Hey. And uh, he's really working his way up there as a producer. Like, hey. he cold. He's from South Carolina and shit. Random white guy, bro. He's a white guy. Random. He wears flip-flops, no socks, no matter what time of the year it is, bro. bro. That's how uh, the audio engineer for 21 Savage is a white dude. Oh yeah, I can I can believe it. I, can I was like, believe it. I met him. I was like, you the dude who made Twenty One Savage, Twenty One Savage. Savage. Yeah. What? He was like, man, I just be working, bro. Yeah. That's all they be saying, I be working, bro. And I feel bad for him for real, for because that's one thing I couldn't do in the studios. They work crazy ass hours, man. bro. Ridiculous hours and stuff like that, dog. I immediately got signed to like my agency right when I got to Atlanta. Okay, that's so that's I started getting paid to be pretty. I'm like, bitch, I ain't finna stay in the that, studio till three paid in the to be morning, pretty, my nigga. What? I ain't know stay your in the strengths. studio till three in the morning. Are you bored? Know, know your strengths. What? Sometimes, bro? sometimes it take you a minute to know your strengths, but when you find out, you be like, why do these hoes keep talking to me like this? Oh, I'm a bad. Bad bitch to him. <laughs> Shouts out to the niggas finding out they just now bad bitches. Beep, 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 beep. Hey, yeah, you damn right, man. man. Oh, shit. That's funny, dog. Hell yeah. But oh, wait, wait. Let me take you to my drip check. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We got on the uh, the cool gray okay. ones. You feel what I'm saying? Got to put those on real quick. You feel me? Just a little 150 right there. I think 175, to be honest. After tag. Got the burger. You know what's crazy? I thought these was red for the longest time. I thought they were more like, like a red brown. Are you brown. Yeah, niggas been telling me it's brown, bro, and yeah, I ain't gonna lie, like brown, bro. That's I like thought it was like brown. more like a red, is because I'll match it with green on purpose to be like red and green, nah. but it's like a a maroon type shit. But right. it's more brown than maroon. To yeah, be honest, nowhere near maroon. Man. <laughs> you beef and broccoli it out right now. <laughs> But yeah, yeah. So these are brown pants, H yes. and M. People say a cool little fitty. And then uh, I got this sweat sh sweater right here. This is a Rivington Roy Rabri. You feel what I'm saying? It's something I just picked up. A light. This shit was like six hundred dollars though. Ooh. But this joint was a good little. This has got great quality. I was about to say, yeah, you could wash that and dry that on accident. It'd it be good. Look. It ain't gonna shrink, bro. Yeah. This ain't no motherfucking sheen. There ain't no Temu. <laughs> oh, you be clothes. shopping at Temu? Nope. I be seeing it. I be wanting to. I be seeing all the hoes with Tamu outfits on. But I know you got that. Oh, hell no, nah, bro. You got the whole entire, whole entire like 10 clothes for man. like 2730, bro. With the shipping. Man, and then coming to Ziploc bag every day. You be like, y'all just be ordering bullshit, ladies. But I get it. If my clothes was that cheap, I would do it too. Exactly. They just got to be small. You got to just show off the assets and everything. You feel what I'm saying? Man. That's it. You going to watch that hole and it's going to be shrink. <laughs> So uh, not work. Fuck that disintegrate, nigga. <laughs> Absolutely. You like, where did my skirt go? It's, it's gone. <laughs> that shit been a, we lost like socks, bro. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about uh, that shit earlier today. I did laundry before you got here, bro. Socks should just legit just run away. They do, man. And they'd be like your favorite pair. You'd be like, fuck, where the other one at? Damn, I need bro. this pair. I hate it when you, have you ever it's cause I got I got Nike socks. You ever had one one dry fit and one regular Nike Man, sock. It feels it dirty when you do it. Hate that You're shit. Like, bro. why? Oh. Dry fit is it. It make your feet feel so secure. It's like a hug every time. They it got that little. It, it's like it make your toes a little Man. like comfy, but then it got that that real like spandex shit. Yeah, on your foot, bro. You make be like, you feel ooh, like like I can run a marathon in these yeah, bitches, bro. Athletic feet, yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's break down everything that you do. Is because you're like you're basically the Pharrell Williams for stand up comedy, bro. And that it's shit's... wild to see exactly when you tell me about everything you accomplished and everything you ain't got done. Like, like just take us through some of the projects that you've been a part of. I'm trying to think, man. I'm because I keep I don't know. I, you know how you do so much shit. You forget. yeah, you are. That's why I respect you. You one of those people who work and you vibe. So when you work and you vibe so much, you you don't got time to really sit yeah. here and remember everything you do or talk about everything you do. Is because you locked in, bro. You gotta be locked. Which is on the X on? I'm a cancer, bro. Cancer, okay. But okay, I'm also okay. like a, a, a entertainment cancer. I guess we kind of different because we instead of using like the emotions. For like relationship, oh. we look put it for the art. Yeah, that's what I do. That's smart for real, for real. That's smart. Yeah, it's because cancers be messy as fuck for no Man, reason, bro. I just be trying to do my shit and get the fuck on. That's yeah. all I be trying to do. Uh, I respect that shit. I'm I trying to think. That. Let me see. I say the first. I do my first. The comedy albums I produce. I, I produce Heavy AF for my OG Ronnie Jordan. Shouts out. He the Gucci Man of comedy in Atlanta. Shout out to him. Uh, I did that one. That was dope. I pretty much like we was going on tour for years, and he was like, "I got to put an album out, Ferg," and he let me creatively produce it. So That's we awesome. got the album work from Frico Rico. I don't know if you know Frico. No, from, I don't know. Uh, he do Action Bronson. Uh, oh damn! Okay. Uh, his 
album cover. He do a bunch of rappers' album oh, covers. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So we got one from him. Uh, so he'll make a caricature of you and what you do. Oh, and, that's hard. Yeah, bro, that's hard. he did a bunch of stuff for like Nike, Adidas, Reebok, bunch of shit. Mm-hmm. He just did this some shit for Red Bull and the Duke Deuce, like during the summertime. I love to get right. Um, then I did the album for Tyler Chronicle. Shout out to Tyler. He on Wildin' Out. He's he was the head writer. For, he is the head writer for Wildin' Out. Mm-hmm. That's how he started. Now he like a serious regular. Funny ass nigga for real. Hell yeah. Funny ass. Shouts nigga. out to him. He yeah. wrote. He, he's the voice for the Cube too. With the show with Dwayne Wade. He wrote for that shit too. Oh, he's the voice for. He's the voice and he wrote for it. That's wild. Yeah, bro. man. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he we we did a project called I wrote this in the strip club where he used to um his album was he wrote this all his jokes that he do now in the strip club he used to sell the strippers they weed yeah. and he used to literally just be in the strip club selling them weed and writing jokes <laughs> that's crazy so we shot a promo in Blue Flame shout out to them for shout letting us shoot Blue that shout out to Blue Flame bro bro I ain't had no money during that one like I just I just had this is how I knew Atlanta fuck with me yeah. I had was like yo we gonna shoot a promo Tyler's like yo I know the, the, the manager we go up there I got my little cousin with me he like 19 I'm like bro just carry shit in they ain't gonna check your ID mm-hmm. go in there we go to the corner and then we just start shooting. I don't have no money. I have zero. I have negative. I am in overdraft right now. <laughs> negative $22.15. <laughs> and I'm there with all the Atlanta niggas I've been working with. And then money starts showing up. Like a couple thousand. Like somebody just 2000 3000 It's just on there. And I'm like, I don't know who money this is, but can we throw this stack? And I hear, yeah, just get a couple. And it was, it was like the Atlanta trap niggas that I be with. And it's not like a, when you say trap niggas, we got to understand that. It's like. And then it just be a lot of stuff going on, and you could be in a, yeah. a warehouse full of. It could be a creative space. It could be a, a, a food, and it might be a producer. Then it be some trap shit going on. <laughs> and the more you be around, the more the trap shit be around. Now you a family, mm-hmm. and now like kind of like wherever you go, they go. Yeah. And it's not on like we shooting and killing. It's just like it's a family thing. So like. Mm-hmm. If they understand what you're doing and it's valuable to what he got going on in the community, they fuck with you. And it just was like, that's how I knew. Like, nigga, I ain't, I ain't pay nobody. I got camera shooting in 6K. I got, like, lighting. I got, like, it looked like a music video in here. Oh, dang. I have no money. No money. So those were the two I did that was the, over the, that was over the pandemic. That's when I was oh. super broke. Yeah. And then, let me see what else. Um, I helped... OG write a couple uh, stand up albums mm-hmm. that's on like streaming platforms. Fire. Like I helped them put it together. I didn't write it, but like, you know, you I'm there. So correlated, you correlated, know, like, make it make sense. Make and it shit. make sense and shit. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, this is the first time I'm going to say this on camera, though. I got, I'm about to put my album out. It's yes, going to be, sir. yeah, it's the first time I've said this out loud on camera. So that's what I'm talking about, right? Uh, it's going to be called Purple Gums, and it's wild. <laughs> purple Gums, bro. Yeah, it's a play wild. on Purple Rain. <laughs> It's it's gonna be a wild album. I'm putting it together right now. I'm trying to figure out who I'm gonna put it through. Don't know how I'm gonna get it funded, but we gonna we gonna get there. We're when gonna we get make there. that shit happen. It's yeah. that simple. We're gonna make it's that gonna, shit happen. You gonna be in that bitch? Y'all gonna be in that bitch? Oh, it's cr- uh, yeah. the first scene is crazy already. Uh, I got it already written. It's a series of shorts, and it's gonna be my comedic album. It's not gonna be like stand up. You are gonna get okay. like the real shit that I don't want to show nobody that uh, I gotta show you. So it's gonna be like skits and shit. No, nah, it's gonna be my life, nigga. It's gonna be your life. <laughs> it's like Damn. looking into my journal. That's beautiful, bro. That's beautiful. Though. Yeah, man. That shit scary as fuck to show everybody <laughs> your flaws in real life. Ah, uh, that is one thing, especially when like you do what we do and you like so used to tailoring it. Oh, oh. Shot. it's shot a clock, shot a clock, shot a clock. But when you're so used to it, because I get to that point where I'm so used to tailoring everything I do, it's hard to Go show ahead. people your flaws, for real, for real. It's Yeah, because it's like, you don't want it, but that's what people really want to see. There you go. Dude, you gave me a lot of goddamn yeah, liquor. Yeah, damn I'm right. I'm glad you I sip, ate before I you came sipping, here. You sipping, though. You sipping, though. Yeah, I'm definitely you know sipping like a whore. <laughs> like you a good. whore. Wait, we're going to pop up the new bottle, too, for me. Too. Oh, man. You really came prepared with Oh, liquor. yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. We I'm be, trying to think what other shit I did. Oh, I did a show for Darren Brand from Wildin' Out. on basic the bougie on mtv Mm -hmm. uh they had some show called kicking it they had a sneaker show we did like seven eight years ago we did cheers cheers sir yeah that's a lot uh, oh. I produce a podcast that's on uh morning culture it's on 85 south streaming platform we got we got that up on 85 south i forgot about that Mm-hmm. <laughs> for their Netflix show, yeah, right? for their Netflix show, yeah. yeah. They, they called me up. Their producer was like, "Hey, for yo, we want to get you on the on the shit. Mm-hmm. We we working with Netflix, so they hit me up. That was dope. Shouts out to them, man. Yo, they did their thing on that motherfucker. Facts, too, man. For real, for to real. see them go from like where from they was, YouTube, 
bro. And I got put on to the 85 South show. Pandemic. They was they was turned up in the pandemic, bro. bro. Like, it's to the point where I'll invite hoes over and shit, and I'll be playing that. Sometimes I had to turn it off, because they be like, damn, this sounds so raunchy. I'm it's like, like... It's real life, bitch. Go to a show, you'll have a ball, though. What are you saying, goddammit? We got <laughs> titties in the building. They see my shit right there. Titties in the building. Shouts out to uh, shit, all them boys in production back there. Ryan, Joe... Chad, shit, everybody. Dot net. Shouts out to Dot net, man. He was one of the cameramen for More Than Coach and IE touring with uh, More Eighty Five. It's like a whole community. That's fire, bro. They really were able to put on a lot of people too, bro. bro. It's it's crazy, That's man. That's fire, man. Like they feeding actual families, bro. That's beautiful, bro. Hey, that shouts out to Los too, man. Los came up to me at his birth at his birthday party. He was like, I fuck with your podcast first. Hey. This shit real. That shit yeah. made me feel good. I was calling yeah. me like, guess who here's a nigga up talking about you gonna get nigga this nigga loose. Hell yeah, the OG for real. Man, bro. that shit's crazy. Damn, that's hard, bro. That's hard. Wow, bro. bro. And I'd be Damn. sitting there like, I guess I'm not regular no more. You not, nigga. You not. But like, you gotta accept the fact you nigga, not. You not either. Nah, the end. You not you nigga, I saw you with the Atlanta people. When you with the <laughs> Atlanta people, you you there, bro. If I see you with Atlanta, anything, you there because you yeah. around it. So when you around it, it'll start rubbing off on you. It don't yeah. try to. It just is. But what it, it just happened is because I think like we you you perform at a high level and you give a fuck about what you do. You got and you to. Get it executed. I feel like that's what I love about Atlanta is because if you're black and you do that, you're gonna get love, bro. Super love. You're gonna get love, bro. Niggas Man. really gonna fuck with you no matter what you do, as long as you're doing it at a high level. Facts. And you're actually executing and the the city gonna open up to you. It's, and once the city open up to you, you you realize when you leave the city that's when you realize oh this is a special place like you never gonna get another place like this you not bro i was in new york before this and la before this bro like they don't have the vibe that this town has and i'm from the country nigga. i'm from fucking bedford county in virginia for people that who know like about fun. that the country bro. cows and like good cows times. bro cows we get mushrooms up there real quick bro because oh, you that's know fun. they come from the cow the doo -doo, yeah yeah so yeah you get blue blue caps for the free, bro. I don't know people get it for free. You just been free. picking them up. I'm finna do these shrooms. I'm finna fuck, get fucked up, bro. Get, get the shrooms off but Daisy yeah, shit. Dog, what I love about Atlanta is it still has that country feel to it. It got that uh, southern hospitality. Bro. That's even better than where I was in Virginia. And I'm like, it's still the city, but it's still the country. I still get a front yard and shit. Yep, and I'm not dealing do. with a lot of these fake motherfuckers, these weird environments and bro. shit like that. I don't know how you do it in LA, man. I be hearing stories and I be like, I'm cool. Oh, I go to man, visit the work, man. but like, did to be out there no. I just got into a good group of people for real, for real. shout out to my people Hard Drive that's who I do a lot of my TV and film music Bet. with shout I, out did them. A, I did a camp with them and uh, I ended up getting like six songs on their uh, compilation that's album. hard so like they are like they really value relationships and they're really genuine people but in LA you know that shit hard I don't know time, I, I went one time and then I was like I was high the whole time so I don't remember nothing so I just like I was there I did stuff and I came home <laughs> That's all I remember. It was just like a blur. Yo, it was. It was a blur, bro. Hey, that's crazy. It bro. was. This is how I knew I wasn't regular too. When you said it, like nigga, we was getting car service at four in the morning. Like we ain't. Like I'm like, why are we switching hotels at four in the morning, bro? Dang, bro. Yeah, that's how you know you up there switching hotels at four in the morning with no, no money in my you. wallet, no money in my account. That's the crazy thing about Atlanta. You could have no money and hoes think you got it. Good, bro. Why they think you got it? Woo! You're like, bitch, I'm barely making rent right now. My headlight out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you be riding around with the high beams on the whole time. Everybody, like, hey, turn your high beams on. Like, I can't. I can't do it. Got it. I'm gonna get pulled over. <laughs> I love that about Lance. You don't get pulled over if you're in the city. You don't really get pulled over like that for shit like that. You don't. You don't. Man, you go out to Cobb County. See, I be getting pulled over. Man, I be texting there. though. I be texting. Oh, uh, you were texting. Your That's driver, how they bro? get me, man. Damn, I got one ticket for that forever. Bro. Yeah, man. Oh, bro, I was out here living one day. I ain't had no insurance. I ain't fucked around. You had no insurance. And you got here. Bro, I had no money, driver? bro. I had no insurance. I was like, I had texts and that shit was like, yo, Taz inspired. Yeah, we gonna put your shit in the pound. And I had just had hey, a yo, date. Yo, Taz inspired too. Nigga, I had a date night with my chick. Had a great time at Esco Bar. <laughs> Karaoke night. Straight in the pound the next day. I don't even know how I came up with the money the next day to get my car out. <laughs> it's a miracle, bro. It's God, bro. bro. Shouts out to the girls that be struggle loving. I love y'all. That ass for real, for real. That's how it is being down here, bro. What? Man. I'd be happy to come into some bread for real, for real. Because that's one thing about Ooh. modeling and acting and shit. They don't tell you that. And especially if you were with a real modeling agency, bro. Mm -hmm. You get paid 30, 60, 90. Sometimes Dollars? 
one no no one twenty days before you did the shit. Oh, that's how long it take. You get like to the motherfucking net thirties and shit. Net nineties, bro. Ooh, you niggas doing net nineties? What the fuck? They're doing net nineties. Sometimes you gotta hunt them down, and then the dude in our financial department is a kid, bro. So he don't really know how to how to. Uh, that's why I'm glad I got LA and New York representation, bro. Is because some of them just don't know how to get your money that's back. Crazy. Bro. Yeah, I still got it. Oh, it's this is one company. I ain't even gonna say who they are, but I don't fuck with them for real, for real. They didn't pay me one hundred and twenty dollars. It's been two years. Oh my god, two fucking one hundred and twenty dollars. Yeah, and then I gotta break made... off. I gotta break off fifteen to the agent. So it's like, bro, like, like one hundred and five dollars, bro. Ninety eight dollars, bro. Like one hundred and five dollars, bro. Like, <laughs> 105. 105, bro. Might as well be ninety eight, bro. Might as well. Uh, that's a real ass shit. But nah, bro, it's like some of these, like, that's why you got to be careful. That's why I say management is a big thing. Agents are a big thing. That's why I'm glad the city showed me love and I've been able to move my resume up. It's because I know next year. Oh, yeah, you're doing it right. Once I saw it, I was like, this nigga is on billboards on the fucking, I see this nigga on my phone way more than I need to, bro. Yes, sir, I saw him, I was like, my boy in Atlanta United gear. Working, bro. That Atlanta United shoe was so dope. And it's wild, bro. It's because it's like, all right, so me being a black guy with dreads in the modeling world, you got to realize, especially Uh, dark. Dark skin. Well, I ain't dark you're, skin, but you I'm dark brown. to them. I'm b- dark to them. You can look at some of the the top tier like modeling like main pages. That's where they got all their models at. They don't go less than light skin with dreads, and I'm Damn. like, that's not even a representation of people. Nowhere who near dreads. it. You feel what I'm saying? So then when I get on set for Atlanta United, and I found out exactly what they were doing, that shit was so dope. And I was yeah. the only brother with locks, bro. Everybody else was just light skin with curly hair. Yeah. So to be that representation of what what it is is to be like atlanta and i grew up like fuck like in virginia bro we crank that like all that atlanta shit bro that shit goes straight up to virginia you feel what i'm saying i'm sure so i was talking to tori about that uh uh, atlanta influences everything shout out to tori's because i was talking to to him about that i was like bro like you you summed it up with this what what you're doing right now i'm sending shit back to people in virginia i'm like bro like before oh they think you made it yo i'm like yo look at this bro you made it in virginia bro outcast at alias is one of like my favorite albums bro like so just to be part of that was just an amazing piece, bro. You feel me? And then like, all right, so I I don't want to wish Atlanta United bad luck on the playoffs, but as soon as their playoff run is over, I get my motherfucking my my cutout. I get my goddamn cutout when their playoff run is over. What that mean? I get a cutout of myself, bro. Oh, you get a key. I have a cutout that's out there, bro. They use it. To oh, that's hard. That should be an Atlantic station, bro. They keep that <laughs> shit. They keep that shit at the motherfucking stadium, bro. Oh. But as soon as the motherfucker, hopefully y'all win a championship. If y'all don't, I'll be okay because I get my cutout quicker. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? that championship gonna get lost in it. You somebody gonna pick that up during the championship. No, I swear to God, that's crazy. Bro, just, but yeah, I got my own cutout. You that's hard, saying? bro. Like, so yeah, bro. That's like, hard, man. Shouts out to Atlanta. The Atlanta. I always call it the Atlanta guys, man, because you never know. It, I don't know what the fuck is in the water here, bro. And it just be it just work if you if you really just be genuinely you and and people accept it, mm-hmm. bro. You just be in some spaces. You might be the it might have no money. You might car me fucked up. One text message away from greatness. Boom. One text message, bro. Not even a phone call. A text. A text, bro. And that's the crazy thing about here too. I feel like people are in arm's reach. People come oh, to absolutely. Atlanta to really just chill out and be normal. I think, yeah, I think people come here with the wrong idea too. Like people that be coming from other, like people from California come here and be like, let's turn up. Like, nah, we don't. If you live here, you don't do none of that shit you oh, see on TV. Hell no. You be like, what? I low key hate Atlanta for that sometimes. For real, for real. Yeah, because like, they think Sundays you can't do nothing after brunch. What? What can you eat? Nothing. You can man. eat what's at your house, bro. I'm not. That's finna. it. Everything you can't get no food after. 9 p.m. That <laughs> right. shit pisses me off, bro. Especially over where you on the south side too. Everything closed because they be, be on the south side, bro. Everything go. You know how you, nights I ain't had Wendy's and Checkers, nigga. That's oh, the nigga. Checkers and Waffle open House forever, bro. I, I ain't even gonna go to Waffle House for real. For real. I, I, I'm I, Waffle House out, bro. Man, I really am. I don't. I get the allure of it, but when you be like, I gotta go to Waffle House. What am I doing with uh, myself? <laughs> I like it, like for what it is. I get it, but it should be like I gotta go to Waffle House, House man, bro. Man. You already know. And then like I'm over here in East Point, bro. I'm already expecting some ratchet shit to go down. It's bro. East Point, <sighs> so shit. it's like, bro. I can imagine, bro. And I used to, I when I first moved out here, I lived over in this side. I was lived off Gobby Road. Uh, is that lived off uh near uh, College Park? 
College Park? Oh, so you closer. You like further down. Bro. Oh, I'm sorry. Old oh, National, my bad. Old oh, National? Okay. I don't know where we at, but it was Old oh, National. We, we, we like legit five minutes away from Campbellton. Oh, yeah. Y'all at the street. Okay, I know where y'all at. You yeah. right by the airport, ain't we? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We take the back roads, 10 minutes. Yeah. You on the airport. Oh, yeah. We be the weird part of Atlanta where it just be all the random just... Just hills and random shit. Random hills, bro. Random, random like random hills, bro. I didn't realize it was now that you say that, bro. <laughs> and random it'd be random like nature preserves. You yeah. can go hiking in the middle of the hood, don't even know it's bro. a whole nature preserve. Oh my god, bro. And if you go five minutes left or right, you in the hood. You are bro. you in, in the, the hood. You in the hood. Especially bro. the one on Camelton, bro, with the waterfall. Have you Cause they, sh- I ain't been to the waterfall. You gotta go to the bro. one with the waterfall, man. Really? They shoot so many music videos there, and they, there's one with a waterfall, and they leave fruit up there for like, I don't know if you know what the Efa uh, religion is. Look Ifa? it up, Efa. 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 It's it's what it's what, it it's right what uh, Twenty One Savage is. Uh, Efa. So they leave like uh, not donations, but offerings to the ancestors, and it's in the uh, they have the the waterfall there, and they, you can see like fruit left up there for the ancestors. Ifa. Religion? Do you type it in Ifa on religion? Yeah, wait, I spelled that wrong. I F I F A. See, you gonna look it up and be like, what? So it's like uh is it it's like a, a it's a religion. American tribe? Nah, it's like nah, a religion. What? It's a real It's like religion. Nigerian. Yeah, it's it's what? African. What? Oh, you never heard of it? Yeah. I've never heard of this, bro. Yeah, it's yeah. The Ifa religion. Yeah. yeah. Man. Oh what? Bro. They leave offerings and everything. Get, get out of here, yeah, bro. man. It's like once the more you dig in Atlanta, it's a real spiritual place. Yeah, it's a very spiritual place. That's oh. why when I, I I don't really take, I don't take kind of when people come down here and bash it, like just unbeknown to them, just be like, I don't like because it's not what I saw on my phone. I didn't experience real Atlanta. Like, no, nah, that's not really Atlanta. Uh, that's Atlanta. TikTok Atlanta, bro. Yeah, TikTok Atlanta is different from real. Atlanta. TikTok Atlanta is not good. Nah. The uh-uh. real Atlanta, when you really be there, you be like, it's no cameras. No cameras. It's super country. Super. You don't know where you at. You might be pulling up to a spot that'd be like, it don't even have a name for it. But you get there, it'd be a warehouse, and that warehouse be beautiful. <laughs> Yo, this is king for, for warehouses. Warehouses, they'd be whole, up to a whole bunch of shit. Man. You Music ever been video, to, uh, uh, studios, a fucking uh, motherfucking... Clothing parties, departments, parties. Man, bro. parties in the warehouse is wild, bro. Jumping, bro. Have you ever been to Bonfire yet? Yes, Bonfire ATL. With that's me? off the the West Side. Yeah, it'd be wherever West the hell End? they be having it. Yeah, bro, and it's in a warehouse. Yeah, bro. That I went shit there is not crazy, too long bro. Ago, bro, that joint was so fire, and it be in a warehouse. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Last time I was there, I saw this. Uh, it was like a. It wasn't open mic, but it was like a local artist performing and shit yeah. like that, bro. I remember this tall, lanky ass six five nigga. He was dancing with this thick. Thick, like 200 pound girl, bro. He was in her booty as a pillow. He was like, yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. Did that for five minutes, bro. Yo, that, like, that's some shit. We, you we went to the second song, bro. Why is she still going ham on this, bro? That's some bonfire shit, bro. And then out, you go outside, they have the motherfucking headphones. They have headphone, three different DJs walking around, three different colors. Then they got the food trucks, then the bonfire. Yo, then you could smoke weed. It'd damn. be crazy. Shout out to the ACL Bonfire. And they'd be bro. having comedy. They used to have comedy. I used to go up there and watch people die deaf trying to tell jokes to people with this ADHD shit. I was about to say, on. yeah, some places you don't need to have comedy shows. For you got to have it in you to do to do that. You got to have that shit in you. You got to finesse the crowd after that. That's all it is. That's a, that's a crowd that don't want to listen to you. But if you get them, when you get them, they here for mm. it. They here for that's it. That's one thing I respect about comedians, you feel what I'm saying? I, I had a little bit of history with comedians. I took stand-up class and I did a couple couple of sets and everything it's just not really like in the cars for me i'm one of those people i just like like acting funny like being funny yeah. being present yeah that's you know the best part about it man so like when you see somebody who can really control the stage and like really make the crowd go for them bro yeah that shit crazy shout out to y'all boys coming in one day to come to the trap with me where you can smoke on peter street i was like oh these niggas sat in the oh, front bro, oh you sat in the front, front. Bro, we got it was bro, cooking we got y'all cooked. that shit was oh. funny shout out to that the the last they storm. Hit out there, that one. it was she, storm she snapped on that Joint, bro. bro, she got everybody so accurate. She was like, "Yeah, you look like a nigga who, who be singing the girls and shit, and who be doing all this poetic shit." And I'll be like, "Hey, you, <laughs> you, that's me. You got me. <laughs> that's got me, you, bro. <laughs> bro, like she was really Yo, like man. she read the crowd and she and it's wild because she didn't she didn't go to like uh she legit you can tell she just did crowd work. She oh, absolutely. Go, like, uh, uh-uh. she was like, I ain't even gonna play with nothing right now. It's because. 
That's what I like about a good comedian. Oh, Ooh, shot a clock, shot a clock, shot a clock. But a good comedian is I still is got mine left over. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I mean, it'd be lit. I, 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 Talking I about exes, think. like, you know what? You hoes. Yeah. No respect. <laughs> Niggas. Oh, shit. That's Feminism got hell. y'all. Put up. <laughs> so fucked up. Yes, sir. Yes, In the sir. house with all them damn empty house doors and cats and dogs. But yeah, man, that that's what if you can I always hear people say if you can make it in New York City, you can make it anywhere. I'm like, bro, if you can make it make in it Atlanta, Atlanta, you can make it anywhere. I ain't gonna lie, if you can make a name for yourself in Atlanta, it's weird, bro. If you make a name for yourself in Atlanta, it's you weird because you you in the process of it. I'm just realizing I that I have I started I started making a name like during the pandemic, and mm-hmm. then it's like my name changed, and then now everybody look at you different. Niggas about to start looking at you different, mm-hmm. and then you are gonna have to have talks with your home. You probably have the talks already, like bro. I can't even move regular no more. I can't move regular no more, bro. I and really that's when you know bro. you done shit yeah, and shifted. That shit that shit different now. I really don't go out no more. Bro. I don't be want to do shit. Yeah, I don't even like getting myself in certain situations, bro. Like now I'm entering. I'm glad it happened in my late twenties. I how old is you? Yeah, I'm thirty four, bro. You thirty four? Yeah, man. God Damn, see, black don't motherfucking Man, crack, bro. I take care of myself. Shouts out to you crack, niggas bro. that take I'm care of themselves, take vitamins, and don't eat that fuck shit. Exactly, bro. I'm 27 now. I'm about to be 28, bro. And life is oh, different, you bro. Hitting the, you hitting the point where, like, you Yo, be like, I'm getting to the money. I'm getting to this money, bro. And not only that, bro, you know what's crazy, bro? My body changing. That shit. Oh, uh, man. Dog, I went to New Orleans. I went to New Orleans to shoot a commercial for... Uh, can I say the brand? Let me not say the brand. Let me not say the brand. Okay. But it was a tobacco company. Okay. Got you. So in New Orleans, we eating good, having a good time, I'm drinking oh, yeah. every single day. We sneaking airplane bottles of, of shots. You getting on fucked set. up? Getting fucked up, bro. I go up to Maryland and see my girl. I come back down, nigga. I got a pot belly, bro. I got a whole pot she went belly. Crazy bro. for a week. I went, bro, a pot belly in ten oh, days, man. bro. That's that a lot of fucking crazy, belligerentness bro. you did to yourself. But like, so. What I do, like this is this is a secret for those who are fucking and you do modeling and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. If you're trying to preserve your body, you gotta leave liquor alone, man. You gotta be careful. Or take it in small doses, but then you gotta run the next day. You gotta yeah. do something. Like, and oh, do you, what you what you what you be doing when you work out though? Uh, ooh, by uh, heavy cardio. Okay, heavy, heavy cardio. cardio, calisthenics, my nigga. Uh, I fuck around with calisthenics. Telling you, your whole body will change. And then, what you take for vitamins? Uh, I got a multivitamin. I got sea moss. Sea moss. Then what I fuck else around with milk, milk thistles because I drink a what lot. What the fuck is that? Milk thistles preserves your uh, liver. Oh, okay. So yeah. You need to get uh, collagen peptide, nigga. Hair, skin, and nails. Oh, collagen goes hard. You got to get the scoop, the, the powder shit. The powder shit? Yeah. You'll be a bad bitch in that. two weeks. I'm telling you, bro. If I, if I know I got to do a shoot... I'm not eating no meat. I'm not eating anything, fruits and veggies, and then collagen every day before I wake up. When I wake mm-hmm. up, when I go to bed, when I wake up and I go to bed, mm-hmm. everything, you'll be like, oh, yeah. oh, I'm a bad bitch. I am a magical bad bitch. I'm telling you. Shout oh, out to shit. those who know. I fuck with that. I fuck with fasting. You fuck with fasting? I do. I only really eat, I eat one meal a day, bro. Oh, yeah? I don't do all that I'm three meals a day get shit. get to that point, bro. It's because I was eating three meals a day. And, you know, being yeah. on set, they give you food all the time. Yeah, you, you got to be disciplined. That's all. Yeah, but nah, for real, for real. That shit, it goes a long fucking yeah, way, especially nigga. when you cutting. I'm about to cut out cheese, too. Bro. Uh, you probably be shitting a little bit. Cheese and, and biscuits, nigga. Oh, uh, yeah. Down here, you real get a heavy dose of breads. Bro, bro, biscuits go hard. And I'm not they even do, a nigga. sweet type person. I don't like sweet. Me neither, like bro. That. But if I get a biscuit, bro, with the I'm gravy, a- oh nigga, with the white gravy, the, the sa- white nigga, the, the white. I don't even eat meat like that, yeah. but the sausage gravy. And I, crazy. Hate, I hate even looking at that shit, bro. They gotta put the pepper. They gotta put the sausage in it. That way, it don't look like some man juice. But like, like if you get some some biscuits with some with some sausage gravy on it, bro. Oh, bro, yeah. bro, because that should be too white. That's man why I ain't fuck with it for a long time. Yeah. Like this shit too white and it's too thick, bro. I don't nah. want no skeet on my biscuit, my boy. <laughs> I don't want skeet on my buns. I don't want that. That's crazy. Then, oh, nigga, then it's gonna be in my beard. That shit look crazy. I'm good. Yo, walk around it, like I got right, nut. Question: How how like when did you start growing your beard? Nigga, I could I got my shit at like 25. So my whole family, really? uh, my whole family look like felons. So we all gold <laughs> teeth, bearded up. Shouts out. Are you from where are you from? I'm from Rochester, New York. But Rochester, all of New my York, family okay. from Atlanta. So like when I was like my dad's side and my mama's side. Yeah. So like every. You know, when I got out of school every summer, I'm down here. Yeah, I'm running through the the, the hood in Adamsville. I don't know I'm in the hood. I'm just having a good time. Don't know. <laughs> I'm in the middle of nigga shit. Don't know at all. 
I'm just having a good time. But then when I caught, graduated college, I just came out here and I started finding out more about my family. Like, nigga, my family, like, I didn't even know. I was, I'm related to a little baby. That's my cousin. Oh, really? We shared the same favorite uncle. That's crazy. And, and young job, bro. Wow. Found that's that crazy. out. Pandemic Thanksgiving. That's the. Yeah, Random. my my girl cousin, shout out to Misty. She was like, come in the family house. We're going to have Thanksgiving dinner. Pull up. I'm like, where we at? It's a Bentley in the driveway. Go inside. We playing, the family playing wild and out. And Jock's in there. And I'm like, cuz, where, where are we? He's like, we well, at Jack house. He's like, you ain't know he was kin to us? I'm like, no, I don't. I did not know that. Random. Fuck. Bro, random as shit, random bro. Random as hell, bro. Random That's as crazy. Shit. You know, it's cra- I just found out Ludacris, my cousin, actually. That's crazy. So I got, my mom was adopted. So I just found, like, my adopted family. Gotcha. Uh, they stay in Maryland, like, legit up the road from my girl. Wow. So I've been tapping in them more. And, like, yeah, they're like, yeah, we're yeah, you need to that. Bridges, like, third cousin, I think. That's definitely his last name. Yeah. Christopher bro. Bridges. Yeah. That's yes. crazy, that bro. That's crazy. It's why you can really find out who you, I feel like a lot of people are related to people in Atlanta. Yeah, oh, bro. Man. Niggas be a niggas be in Atlanta. Man, it's it's like, man, it's one of them things that you be like, if you talk to somebody that live here, they understand it. But if you're not talking to somebody that don't live here, they be they like, what the understand. fuck are y'all talking about? They don't understand, bro. They don't understand. They like, y'all just gotta be here to understand the greatness. You can never you will never have a city like this. You you really Again. won't, bro. You really won't. Like, I'm a, in, you know what's crazy? I'm afraid how it's gonna look in five years. I'm so but I'm like, I'm we afraid. here though. It's gonna be, I feel like it's gonna turn. I already see it with the the music industry is happening quicker. It's becoming very Hollywood. Oh, it's getting weird. But I, I can only see how it's going to be within the acting world, and even within like the 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 way that the you know the the climate change and shit yeah. like that. Because I know people who come down here within the last year who've had terrible experiences, and it's like, bro, like I'm just glad you, I ended you, up in a good position. It's yeah, man, you blessed. You can you can find some good energies in Atlanta, but facts. I ain't gonna lie. In five years to ten years, this show is going to change. It's gonna bro. be crazy, bro. Because uh, like I remember when. The film and t- TV industry was like just starting. I had mm-hmm. just started. I graduated and I was here, mm-hmm. and I was watching. And I was at Tyler Perry Studios like for seven years. I worked there for seven years as an accountant, production mm-hmm. accountant, and accounting part. Mm-hmm. So like I went from the little studio to the big fort. That's crazy. And like bro. I knew everybody when I said I knew got the everybody. Plot of land type shit, bro, bro. Like I knew his bodyguards. Mm-hmm. I knew all of the stuff that was happening. Like I would get special assignments. They'd be like, "Yo, what you doing, so and so?" We need you to work this weekend. Like, you cool with that? Like, yeah. And like, they don't tell me who I'm working for. One day, I'm in a... They was like, come in. Nigga, I'm Taraji P. Henson's, Henson's assistant for a day. Shout out to Taraji. She was so fine I was saying, she, life. she a baddie for real, for real. Nigga, she smells so good. I couldn't <laughs> stare at this lady in her eyes. I was like, oh my God, I'm a, I'm a skeet on salt right now. <laughs> oh, I can't skeet. I'm a skeet on salt in front of this lady in these good pants. <laughs> Like bro, like the like shouts out to everybody over there. They're like that's family for real. Mm-hmm. Like y'all can say what y'all want about Tyler Perry Studios, but he really be putting money on in these people and people oh, pockets and making the community better. Yeah. Like I've I never thought I would be in that position to just be able to be in some place like that. I'm at Oprah twice, bro. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Oprah. Shouts out to her. She came in and cashed this out thousand dollars each time she pulled up. Just thousand dollars. She was mm-hmm. like, she, one for you, one for you, facts. one for everybody. Nigga, she came in like an hour and a half late. Everybody just waiting for her. She was like, guys, sorry I'm late. The The show you guys are doing is so amazing. It's doing great numbers. I'm giving everybody the extra $1,000. And then she walked off. Then he, she left the room. Girls was crying. Oh, <laughs> it's all bro. I'm like, yo, this is Oprah. Damn, that's cool, bro. Yeah. This, bro, so like. You in a great place, man. It's mm-hmm. dope. And it's so amazing to see y'all come up and do this shit. Cause I know like the entertainment community is little. Little. It's little. Like so you see little. the same people. So mm-hmm. the fact that you going through the ranks and y'all doing what y'all doing, man, y'all gonna catch what y'all want. And then you just gotta be ready yeah, to bro. deal with the aftermath with everything that's, that's happening, mm-hmm. like in a positive way. Cause you changing, like you're not gonna be regular, you're not gonna do regular shit no more. Mm-hmm. And I even have to say that to myself and had that you gotta have that conversation and we need therapists. That help niggas lie. transition yeah. from being a regular citizen to an entertainment. Like you got you got juice where people start to know you and yeah. your life is being affected by this, both financially and like physically. Like, cause you don't know, you don't at this point, you just like, I just know I'm doing work mm-hmm. and I'm getting paid to do work and people are knowing me and now it's getting weird. Yeah, especially black people for real, for real. And needs yeah. to be a black person. Like, even like, all right, as far as acting coaches, uh, my, my base acting coach is a black man. 
I don't take acting coaches from from white people, no offense, but they aren't going to be able to tap into the language that we speak. At we all. speak a different language. We carry ourselves a different way. I yeah. walk into a room, I'm going to operate different from a white person. I really Absolutely. Am. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, when it comes to therapists, when I decide to go to therapy, because I, I ain't going to be honest, I ain't in therapy yet. God damn it. When you I go really to that motherfucker. Like that. When I, I know when I want to go to therapy. When I go to therapy, it's definitely going to be a nigga. It's going to be a black. You got to have. I had it's a woman and I did not like it. Uh, I heard a, a woman is black or white? Black. Black. Ah, it's because then it gets like, I, I ain't going to lie. Especially when you open up your trauma to a woman, she kind of start getting turned on to you. <laughs> and then it like really, it really <laughs> defeats the purpose. It's like, bro, I, I need what? somebody to be here for me emotionally. In, in a stern way. Like, I want those people, I need structures because I'm kind of a crazy ass nigga. Yeah. So I need somebody who's like really going to be like, nah, nigga, you tripping right now, bro. Like, yeah. Wake up, like, get it together. I don't need auntie sitting here like, you tripping, but <laughs> I like that shit. It's because that's how women, that's how aunties be. When you get a little too crazy, they, that shit turn them on. The they therapist like, I had was not built for me to be aroused about. She was not. <laughs> You got to get you one that's not attractive for real. Oh, yeah. So you know they mean it from their heart and soul. They ain't got trying to get nothing to body you. You just be like, yeah, you built funny. Let's do it. I ain't gonna lie. I want to be in my spirit. And I ain't gonna lie. I'm the type of nigga that walk into my therapist's session drunk as hell, bro. Oh, man. You want to You a wild nigga, bro. The motherfucking, them drunk goggles come on. Be like, hey. You being a bit shit, Lisa, how you doing today? <laughs> She did not respect my journey. <laughs> you be here to be. I hate this bitch. What up, bro? Go ahead, cuddle with her ass. Put my head on the boobs. Yeah, <laughs> they're crying. I'm sorry, I'm getting you start tears feeling. on your titties. Oh yeah, start feeling me get hard on her yeah. leg and shit. <laughs> That's wild, as fuck. Oh, bro. All right, wait, wait. I gotta show you this real quick before we get. You fight with superheroes? You fight with like yeah. Marvel, DC and shit? Yeah. All right, we're going to get into superhero fights. But I have this theory that I've been cooking up, bro. Okay. And I don't think pandas are real. Like the actual like black and white pandas? Yes, bro. Why don't you feel yes. like All right, so, are real? So here's the reason. Here's the reason I don't think they're real, bro. Okay? I've been doing research on this shit all day, bro. Yeah, I've been tapped into this university bro. Right now. Yes. All right. So if you pay attention to- Great album. Listen to that Offset album, Fire. Great album. But if you pay attention to pandas and shit, okay? Pandas really maneuver in a way that's like very like human-like. They act like humans sometimes when you they really do. be seeing their highlights and shit. So I started doing just this deep dive is because I go on the internet and I deep Deep dive all the time so atlanta uh atlanta so pandas have like they were officially on the brink of extinction during like 1980 it was about like probably 1100 pandas even left on the planet on earth. the earth yes they're indigenous to china so that was during the 1980 and then the numbers finally spiked up during 2014 they ended up getting to like 1800 not that big of a yeah. number but that's more than a 50 percent increase so if you pay attention to the way that the, the the system of of life works legit during that time where pandas started to decrease in population the number of abductions in the chinese culture rose by like nine nine times the like a lot of kids were getting abducted Okay, so and it, what I, I'm not saying that all of these new pandas are abducted Chinese babies. That's not mm -hmm. what I'm saying, but I'm saying there's probably a percentage of them that are abducted Chinese babies. And then when you pay attention to 2014 during China, they started this new venture capital like um, initiative uh -huh. where they started funding a lot of technological like advances. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is the time where. Uh, Uber's app was developed and it ended up springing up. Fucking TikTok was developed and it ended up springing up through 2014. That's crazy. And then that's when pandas started increasing in population. So I think personally, a couple of them are abducted Chinese babies. A couple of them are robots. That's just what I personally man, think. What's in, your, what's in your fucking vape pen, man? <laughs> I need to smoke what he's smoking because this nigga is making no sense to me. I, I, <laughs> I want to follow this man with my spirit, but I was like, no, nah, you lost me there. Uh, like, I get the, the statistics is great, bro. The statistics is crazy, I was here, You had though, me, right? then I was like, all right, this the nigga said robots. This crazy, and fucking, bro. And then he got the video. Like, bro, yeah, yeah, let's watch some he of got these the videos, videos, bro. They act like humans, bro. They, they be falling everywhere, they rolling around. They be falling, around. bro. The way they fight each other, dog. That's crazy. It's so human-like, dog. That's crazy. And it's wild. It's because they really be maneuvering like, like, I ain't going to say like humans, but not like a, 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 a they're not a regular bear. A I know panda that. bear. Yeah. 
That joint is crazy, bro. They just be living life, dog. And it's like, oh, look, boy, look, 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 look at when he slid, slid down, down, down the shit. Come on now. Look, that nigga did a little bump of cocaine. Yeah, he did. <laughs> and then he put his booty in the water. <laughs> Out here turned up, bro. Like crazy. The way they be sitting and shit too. Yo, bro, the, that's what's be ass. weird. Like they sit down like regular people. Yeah, bro. So I you think it's a baby to. in a pan outfit just in the zoo? I think so, bro. Man, have you seen a uh, Five Nights at Freddy? Nope. It's like they put them in a robotic suit and they're like the soul of a child in a robotic Whoa. suit. Whoa! So they might be doing that with these pandas, bro. How do we get here, folks? This is wild. <laughs> This is crazy shit, but they do. They are cute. Have you seen the red pandas? Red pandas. Red pan- are oh, red pandas are fucking adorable, bro. I, I wish I could get pandas. Dog. I wish I could get that or a servo cat. Like, look, look at the way that they they get scared too. Oh, they get scared for real. Yeah, like normal ass niggas. Yeah, bro. they look like niggas. That, oh shit, oh, they shoot. Goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> shot oh, it's a clock. shot o'clock. Shot o'clock. Shot o'clock. What was that? Whole, that was their vagina. Well, that shit was big. <laughs> Look at the way that no one yeah. woke up, bro. Woke up with the meat out. <laughs> look at the way he's sleeping, bro. Come on. He now. not out. That look like somebody granddaddy on the couch when he's finna <laughs> die in the rocking chair. Oh shit, bro. That shit just crazy to me. Go ahead, I love you up. That shit. Yeah, let's go. Bit, son. Yeah, Ooh. yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. There that you go. shit crazy. Bro, I'm telling you, bro, it's like a mix of robots and, and little little hey, Chinese man. babies. Now, they might have fucked up with the Chinese babies and was like, damn, we need a more sustainable model. So, they started doing robots. But there's a couple of them. Like, Where does your mind go, bro? Like, you thought about this for quite some time, man. You've been going through a lot of panda <laughs> oh, research. Man, bro. Oh, God, literally bro. on YouTube. Cheers. If y'all can see this man's like suggested <laughs> playlist, nothing but pandas. <laughs> and then it's a TikTok and then it's probably an uh, Offset album. I've been oh, listening to a lot essential. of uh, his album. I've also ran into like his West Side Gun, actually. He, hey, this, yo! The, the, the new album got, like, hints of 2023 in it. So I was like, all right, let me take a gander. Hey, yo! And boop, I boop, 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 Yeah, man. I went, uh, I went to school. Shouts out to my man D-Jack, who uh, he used to be. I don't know what he's doing now over there, Griselda and them, but I know he's part of the whole family, but he used Child. to be West Side manager. Oh, really? Yeah, man. My, I used to, the crazy thing is the people that like rap with uh, West Side, uh, what's the other one? It's three of them. Benny the Butcher. Yeah. And it's, the and, uh, the it's Conway. Conway the Conway. Machine. Conway. Conway got uh, bars. That's I used to favorite. go to school. I went to school in Buffalo College. Oh, really? And I used to be in the back hooping and them niggas that rap with them now used to be back there rolling dice. That's crazy. And I'd be like, yo, that's the nigga that used to roll dice <laughs> all the time. And now he a rapper. That's wild. But he was always a rapper. So mm-hmm. it just was like, damn, that's crazy mm-hmm. that y'all used to fucking roll dice while I'm in school. And, and now y'all out there really rapping making and shit crazy too. And they're come up with super duper dope. I like how uh, West Side Gun really like finessed that joint and really made sure they actually could have like their label that and hard, run that bro. shit. Because he started as like a fashion designer, bro. Yeah, man. Shouts out to those who beat the game and saved that money after mm-hmm. doing all that time in jail. Because oh, I God, know for how real, beat. bro. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I could come back to regular society after you done put me in prison for twenty years bro. or however long he did. As long as I get, I ain't gonna. Lie. As long as I get put into prison in Virginia, I know I'm good. I know good. Okay. Or hopefully, if I go up to Detroit, it's because one of my one of my older brothers he doing he doing a bid for thirty four. He on the seventeenth. He up in Detroit now, or he might be in like Cleveland or somewhere up north. But Ooh, I know as long as I got the fam, I'm good. Look, I was the good kid. You feel what I'm saying? Man. Everybody else got locked up. But like that <laughs> that's trend, how it be too. You like we made it. We did it. <laughs> we made it. We made it. Woo! We made it. They told me to to, to hey you. There was like Nick, you better fucking do that shit. You drawing shit. You yeah. Boy, you better do that shit, bro. Do yeah. that shit, nigga. And I did. And they got locked up. And yeah, now man. we here. So I got money on your books. Don't don't worry. I yeah. got all. I just sent my boy Dre some money on his books. It's okay. I it's got like a little you. Credit. They got a little number that's the Sign to their name. Oh God! Yep. Boom. Yeah. Send it's that a in. Card you can put it in. Oh too. God! I gotta get his JPay. Hopefully his 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 baby mama ain't stealing the money that I send to her. You That's can never, wild. can never, you can never trust you it. You never real. know. Well, I gotta send it to your cash app. Just give hey, me the man. nigga JPay. Shout out real. to those who be visiting people in jail. That shit is not easy to see a lot of white women kissing black men. <laughs> Cause when I went the one time, it was so many big white girls kissing niggas in the mouth. So many, I ain't gonna lie, bro. It, Yo, you be like, whoa, whoa, what are we doing? It is wildest because they get them all through Facebook, bro. bro. If you do a bid in, in in prison, you better get on Facebook. You gotta get you a big white get girl. Get you a bro. big white girl. <laughs> A little honey boo boo built white girl. Oh, honey boo boo built white girl. She gonna put money on your books, what? bro. She gonna show up. She gonna I know snacks. where Darius is. 
Oh, and then when I used to visit my stepdad up in uh in county and shit, um, we had to be mindful of our shoes is because there was to a point where people would come and visit them and they'll have on the same shoes, so they'll switch shoes like mid like uh, session and you could get drugs in the shoes that way. Yep. So it'd be so like them big white girls will sneak up drugs for you and Eric thing. Oh, you absolutely. Feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Give it to the babies. You cause they used to do this, like if you had a baby, you could they could they'll pass the baby over however the fuck the the talking situation was set up mm. you could like hold your baby for a certain amount and sometimes they just get to the baby and then like you get the baby now you got the drugs mm, yeah bro or you like something like that or when you kissing your girl y'all tonguing down she done and then she ain't got the shit orally yeah yeah yes sir got, or bro. you put it up your butthole who knows yeah i mean you gotta get that shit in there somehow if you wanna, i ain't gonna lie if i ever get locked up in prison bro oh, i'd be a fucking problem dog. oh nigga push-ups every day it depends on how much so longer if i got two years okay we're going to play about it. You might not good. go to prison. For you might two be in years. jail yeah. if you get two years. Two if years. I get two to five, they Ooh. actually send me to county. Mm. I'd be good. But if I get 10, bro, I'm fighting every single day. I'm starting drug rings. I'm going to be a problem. Yeah, because man. it's like, you I'm got doing. 10 years of your life, bro. And if you're a regular, you're not like a Tory Lanez. You're not famous. Yeah. You ain't going to get the special treatment. At you ain't going to get the 85 down nope. to 60. You're going to get possibly the 85. And it's like, I'm gonna be fighting, bro. I'm gonna You're be... gonna be in that bitch just trying not to get raped. That's oh. the whole thing, man. <laughs> yeah, oh I'm God. waking it out so I don't get my booty tampered with, y'all. <laughs> Shanking everybody. But we ain't going there, bro. Shout out to the black man who grew up in families where people was really in the streets and everything. Boy, this shit and crazy, it was positive, man. bro. When you go to a funeral and your uncle got 20 years and he got the cuffs on him and he got oh. two guards on him, that's when you know your family real, bro. Oh, Yo, yeah. My uncle had on Versace glasses. And I'm like, how you got Versace glasses and you've been in prison for 20 years? It didn't make sense to me. Yeah, bro. Like, how did... You'd be so surprised with a couple packs of ramen noodles against you, bro. Versace? <laughs> in prison? Nigga, what? That's that New York Versace. That's that Chinese Versace. Yeah, definitely Versace. is that. <laughs> he got, I'm trying, I'm gonna risk it off of some Chinese Versace. <laughs> Fuck that. No, nope. uh, how'd that fit up your butt? That's, for real, how'd that get in there? Who put Versace glasses up the booty this, to get in that motherfucker? That's a put guard. That somebody, somebody that, guard. That gotta got be that guard. In. That gotta be guard at that point. Because it's glass. It's glasses, you bro. Your butt. Nobody yeah, putting glasses in a condom up their ass. Nobody oh, no. doing that. Bro. We should ask. Is y'all putting like glasses up y'all booty hole and a lot of condoms? I don't know how this works. I'm sure somebody can come in and you know Lord. swap it out for some money, but. Yeah, I hope it. I hope they're not doing that. You be like these glasses smell like shit. <laughs> I can't see my shit. <laughs> Wait, you see hello? They're a little, uh, a little <laughs> foggy. Yeah. You got doo doo vision. Doo doo and lube. Nigga, yeah, what are you talking about? Oh my god, about, that gotta smell crazy. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> like I wouldn't want to see whoever get whoever get the drugs about their butt. I want to see after they clean it. I don't want to see that process. Like, yeah, oh, nah, it's pooping that shit out. Doo doo out of rubber. All in your anus, bro. Oh that my shit god, crazy, bro. Lord, woo. Where did we go? <laughs> we went where? <laughs> All right, wait. Let me check the camera. Make sure the camera good. Then we will get the superhero fights. Oh. Okay, camera good, camera good. Camera oh man, good. I know you done had a couple that was shit done cut off. Nigga, dog, I even have my own entire like graphic that just be nigga be was hurt. The, the people, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, we it on happened. A, we on iPhone. I'm sorry. We starting it out. Happened. We starting out. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> all right, cool. So, all right, so we're gonna get to the point where uh, this is. Um, Superhero fights. So we all put right, up babe. two superheroes against each other, and we'll see who win in the fight. Okay. All right. Cool. Have you seen this before? Or are you just watching this for the first time? Or are you just? Oh, you just picking no, no, no. I put it over here. I put it over what? here. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a randomizer, so we get random superheroes. Okay. Oh, that's hard. So uh, we got Wonder Woman. Okay. Wonder Woman's first one. If it's a man, okay. she's gonna lose. <laughs> <laughs> I right, Wonder Woman strong as fuck though. She bro. do got the truth lasso. Okay. Ooh, Wonder Woman versus Shazam. Unless we gotta see how this goes, because I'm I, like I want it. This is gonna be I don't know. I'm just gonna wait for it. Ah, oh, but if you go down to like the rankings of DC like superheroes and everything, where and is mind Shazam you, like, at? Shazam DC Shazam. I think like Shazam. I, I have to find out. But like people get selected to be Shazam. It's almost like oh, um okay. It's like Green Lantern for real. For real. Oh, people like, get selected get to be summoned. a Shazam. You feel what I'm saying? They get Got summoned. You. you feel what I'm saying? And Shazam 
that would be a great fight, but Shazam is definitely going to walk away with the dubs because Shazam Absolutely. is just technically stronger than her. Yeah, it's like you Wonder Woman. You got a lasso and you find... <laughs> And you got a little bangles of choom, 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 choom. Oh God, but she gonna throw that lasso and he gonna yeah. be like, damn. Ooh, your titty's nice. Yeah, what? I would I would flirt with Wonder Woman the whole fight. I'd be like, hey, shit, you know I can get rougher in bed. Hey, you spotting? Mm. <laughs> you you just coming off the rag? <laughs> <laughs> I would you be a terrible that, superhero. Where, where yo, where what that app say? What that app say? Mm. <laughs> The vagina app to let you know. Yeah. Oh, she ovulating. I can smell it. <laughs> she like me. She like me. She ovulating. Ooh, I can smell them eggs getting right. Boy. Yeah. Ready to get getting that basement <laughs> flooded. We trying to paint them walls ostrich white egg colored. I ain't gonna lie. I get Wonder Woman pregnant. Oh, first, absolutely. Bro. I bust a load in her. Bro, I watched the quick. movie and I was sitting there skeeting on soft looking at her, bro. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she is one of them people like yeah. You can have everything. I don't give a fuck no more. Take me, God. The lady finna suck the little meat till it get strong. Oh, man, bro. Hell yeah, bro. I'll be piping one of them real quick. What? Yeah. And you know, you don't have to be that high class of a nigga for real, for real. It's because women who are really like status, like up there, they like dirt niggas to be they honest, love bro. Dust. They love some dirty dirt grime. grime ass. Like he probably cheating on you if he ain't around with an ugly bitch. Yeah. Like, bro. She wants you to smoke black and miles and eat chicken wings oh. every day, dude. You just gotta look like you came out of jail though. Oh, I know that, wonder That's what two parent household women be looking for. They be looking for niggas that look like they're gonna cheat on them. <laughs> I love two parent household women. Y'all be loving us. So hard. They be liking the bat. It's because nah, it's because the two parent household. So the mom warned them like, "Hey, my uh, yo yo auntie, my sister, she fucked up. So yes. you stay away from nigga like that, like that." And then those niggas be the niggas they like. And they be loving the dirt bag. And I don't even think we be dirt bags like that. I just be liking that we dangerous. Yeah, for real, for real. I and think that's like, just an innate instinct in women. You want your man to be dangerous. Yeah, you gotta just whisper in the air. Be like, I got my gun on me. They be like, yo, Ooh. bro. I got, soaked. <laughs> yo, that's some real shit. I pulled out a pistol one time at a hotel. I was fucking on this girl, and we had to meet up at the hotel. And I had no gun. My uncle's like, "Hey, nephew, bring this pistol with you." This nigga gave me the oldest pistol I ever seen. Oh my my God, that shit was like this big. It was silver. <laughs> it had like a six chamber. Like, <laughs> no, bro, he gave you a long nigga, I felt like revolver, I was in bro. Fucking old western and <laughs> shit. Wild, wild west type. Pow! Guy. You gotta shoot it like that. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta shoot from the hip. There ain't even no aiming on that bitch. And uh, somebody was banging on the door, and we were like, yo, what the fuck banging? I'm thinking, oh, this bitch set me up. Yeah. Pull out the Long Ranger Tonto <laughs> real quick. <laughs> Went to the door with the big ass gun, and I'm like, yo, what you doing? It's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm at the wrong door. I'm sorry. Somebody just drunk at the wrong door. As soon as I got back in the bed, she's like, I'm so fucking wet. Uh, I said, yeah, God, I just... you just pulled the gun out. <laughs> That's and, a coochie uh, soaker, Then I sat right? that big ass gun on the goddamn nightstand and hit this dry ass coochie. The coochie was so dry. <laughs> it was so bad. Underwhelming. That's, that's terrible. <laughs> it sounded like niggas was playing basketball in the gym. You hear the sneakers squeaking. You know, skip, 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 eat, eat stroke, bro. I was hot. <laughs> My player ass coochie, man. <laughs> Oh fuck! I had to take the rubber off for like a few naked strokes just to get it moist. So, 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 yeah, sometimes so, so you gotta do that. That ah, uh, she she definitely a hood booger for real. For Man, it's cause she ain't even like the rubber. Facts. And then uh, she gave me blow up mattress sex. Shout out to you. You she know gave, who you she are. She gave you what? Blow up mattress sex. That's when oh, you know it's gonna go crazy. She been with niggas in the trenches, bro. Oh, Girl busted over on blow up mattress. Shout out to her. She a down one for yeah. real, for real. With the slow leak when you end up on the floor in the morning. Ah, oh, with the slow leak, bro. Oh, my God. Don't go in and conquer. Y'all gotta kind of get on the one side so it even out. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Shout out to her for real, for real. Yo, As they know what time it is. You fuck with a nigga. If I'm in Pound my, Town, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I was about to say if I'm on a, a blow up mattress, you hear you going to Pound Town, going real, crazy. Put you going to Pound Town, Booty Hole Brown. Oh, I'm, I'm destroying. I'm getting coochie scratched. <laughs> All right, so on to round two. We got <laughs> who we got. We got uh, we got Batman. Okay, okay. Batman. Batman. Batman uh, versus who? Batman. Batman versus the Flash. Batman is actually losing, bro. Yeah, I'm I'm taking it because they're gonna try to make it seem like Batman gonna win because he's a billionaire. But like, no, nah, he's the Flash, bro. Nah, bro. If the Flash really pull up on him, and it's wild, is because I've been arguing in the comment section with the Flash. Who do you think will win, Vegeta or the Flash? <sighs> Vegeta. 
Dog, bro. I feel like that's the most logical yeah, explanation. Vegeta too. winning every time. But motherfuckers love the Flash. Cause the Flash, he low-key OP. He has a lot of like power. He has a lot of he runs 13 billion times faster than the speed of light. That's wild. He has phasing where he can phase through niggas' hearts and shit. He can go back in the future. But when he go back in the future, he fuck up every day. Yeah, I did you see that one. Saying? That was a good So movie it's too. like ah, it was a it did, Ezra Miller. Was dope. It was a movie. great movie. Yeah, that great is a stretch. Bro. Okay, maybe not. It, it, it was, was it better was than okay. I expected. It was. It oh, out. that's a good one. <laughs> I was like, oh, one. this was not bad. But nah, bro. Oh yeah, he's definitely dog whooping Batman. Batman is uh, it's just white privilege, bro. Yeah. If he got if he got some time, he might be able to like disability like B- the flash. Batman is Elon Musk with muscles. <laughs> oh man, that's so accurate. That's facts. Bro. That's so accurate. That's really dog. it. Damn. Wow, no, nah, no, nah. he like Mark Zuckerberg. It's cause you mark no Mark. He gotta Zuckerberg be handsome. Fighting. It's like he got the face of Tom Brady, but with Elon Musk money. <laughs> and like, that's how they want Batman to be. And fucking and who who body? Who body? He gonna grunk. He gonna have grunk body. G- grunk body. <laughs> Tom Brady face and Elon Musk money. Yeah. That's, that's like the perfect Batman for that's real. Batman. For real. That's Damn. real. <laughs> That's real. That's what Batman is, bro. <laughs> On God, for real, for real. God damn. All right, dog. No. Next round, next round. Who we got? Who we Who got? We got, we got uh, uh, we got my nigga, The Punisher. Okay. Punisher, real. I love that video game. Oh, God. oh The Punisher video game. It's fire, bro. Who we got? Captain America. We know Punisher losing. Punisher beating. You think Punisher losing? To Captain America? He's beating the shit out of Captain That's America. That's another bro. fucking Batman Jr. That's like nah, Diet Batman. Bro, no, That's like bro, America's no, Batman. Bro, are you serious, bro? Nah, he beating the shit out of the Captain America. You think so? I'm going to the dark side. I'm going to the streets. I'm, <laughs> I'm going, going to trauma. To the That's streets and trauma. Captain America had it good. He got frozen and he got, got money and then he got yeah, super priors. Yeah. But nah, the Punisher is fresh off his family being killed. Bro. I forgot he's trauma. Yeah, yeah. this nigga is trauma. He's leaning into trauma yeah, right and now. I bro. might have to agree with you with trauma. <laughs> Anybody that start with trauma be way better at shit. Shot the clock, shot the clock, shot the clock, shot the clock. Beep, beep, beep. But nah, bro, nah, that trauma gonna take him a long way. How the fuck are you finishing these shots, man? Bro, we built different over here. I'm not about to get shit else to drink. I got, I got, <laughs> look how much shit I got in there. Damn, bro, I still I'm got a lot. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, right, I'm gonna right. toast it up with you. I'm, I'm we gonna take, toast it up. I'm gonna take a shot. I'm gonna take a shot. It's okay. Though, we I'm ain't gonna. Take gonna I ain't gonna lie. I had one of my nigga Caleb. You know Caleb. Yeah. Caleb came in this bitch. I got him drunk. He got fucked up, bro. I still actually haven't even dropped his podcast episode. It's because it fucked up the formulas of my podcast. He was that drunk. Damn. What was you doing? Did he not eat? I he knew I had to eat before I come you here. You know, it's crazy. He was going through some, some shit with a, with a meth booty, bitch. You, you ever heard about meth booty? What the fuck a is A girl that put booty? meth up her booty to get high, bro? Yeah. Okay, hold up. Time yeah. out. Now I got to wait. Gotta we got to talk about this. We got to talk about Time this. Time out. What Shots. is meth booty? Mm. This shit sound like Percocet in the butt. It's damn near the same thing. So she was like eating this man butt or something. No, 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 no. I feel like Percocet in the butt, that's more of a black girl thing. That's a white yeah. girl thing. White girls, you know, white meth. Come on, let's be honest. What? So yeah, she she used to put meth up her booty, bro, and he was he was letting her stay with her and everything, bro. He was really like he was down bad over her, to be honest. Cause she was a little batty and shit, but he was really like going through it, bro. He showed me some of the some of the text messages, bro. I even posted them on my threads, bro. I put this shit all public. It's like I, shout out to my <laughs> niggas out to who actually really nigga. going through shit, bro. Man. Don't bring it over here. It's cause I'm gonna make a joke out of it and I'm gonna entertain my followers. It is whatever. It <laughs> so is it, what is what it is what it is, bro. But she was like, she was like, you better not leave your door unlocked. It's a witching guy. Hour. you're gonna hate me love you're gonna wish you're on my time love everything was love and baby with threats bro and i was like damn uh-huh. to be honest that vagina sound fire i was like i'm hard bro I'm yeah, hard that vagina hitting going uh, crazy uh, <laughs> oh she eating but i know she eating this man but that's oh, why he man, messed up bro because he don't want her to tell her i'll be fingering this nigga in the booty hole be hitting him in that spot make him <sighs> skeet on soft you know, it was wild. I was just looking at. It. We actually talked about this on set. I, my booty is off limits, but it the got gooch? to be. You, I, I'm mm. scared that I'm gonna be like, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you feel right? Touch me too good. And I'm like, oh no, I'm ashamed. I don't lie, that gooch, bro. That gooch be kind of hitting forever. I ain't I'm gonna lie to you forever. But that tongue gooch. gonna lower it, bitch. You gonna get smack real quick. Like, ah, I don't no. had the balls tamper with, but it don't even tamper it just, with. Just yeah. like that's not a necessity, bro. 
I don't. I just be trying to get the skeet up off me, and then I go into sleep. I be sleepy. Ah, uh, you a working ass nigga? That's what I be is, out bro. here in these streets. You be working ass nigga for real, for real. You be like, damn, bitch. I got, just, uh, I got nah. to go work tomorrow at nine so a.m. If it was a girl that I really like, honey pack dick pill from the store. I'm about to say, yeah, going crazy. Yeah, luckily I got a girl I really fuck with, so it's like, yeah. yeah. But if you out here a random rando, oh nah, bitch. Get, I understand where you come yeah, from. Yeah, if it's a rando, I'm not about to nah. I'm about to but, give you the honey pack dick and dip. You know what's wild? I've been hearing this about Atlanta girls. In particular, bro, they be out here trying to eat nigga ass, bro, and then they'll I never got that they'll, happened. They'll try to kick your legs up. They'll do kick your legs up just to be the no. woman who did it, bro. What we're not gonna do is Lamborghini my doors, <laughs> <laughs> bitch. I am not a Nissan Ultima. You're not finna push to start my booty hole, bitch. No, what is wrong with y'all girls? Y'all better stop listening well, to Sukiana. Yeah, I was say Sukiana started that them. shit for real. For real. Sukiana retired yeah, from eating ass. She was like, "Damn, I ain't mean to do this." You know how much hair back there, bro? It's too much hair, and I don't go out my way to shade that shit down. Yo, I really not, don't. Yo, you know that how much shit too hard. It's too hard to so shade down a booty hole, bro. Booty hole hair that it's you gotta fight through. It's too hard to shade down a booty hole, bro. Did you part in my booty hole hair with uh, your tongue, um, bro? Oh no, uh, we not friends after this. Hell no, nah, the goose too far. Bro. Yeah, and it might be a little bit of dander in there. Oh, God, <laughs> dander, might, especially dander. if you're doing it and you ain't showered before. Like, it all depends, cause you know how it is. You know how women get down. They they want that shit anywhere, bro. So it's like my my ass ain't even ready, bro. I ain't pushed out five little quiet farts. Yeah, this you see like, oh, wait, let, let this shit get up out of me. Come on now, bro. Don't try to do that. Sifting through the booty hole air. Had a nerd to do that and then try to no. kiss me. But what, bro? What? No, 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 no. Kiss me after eating my booty hole hair. What the hell? If you go to the Gooch after off the first night and you try to kill me, no, bro. Kiss the <laughs> ring. Kiss the ring, bro. Get, get your ass away from me. I don't even imagine, bro, but uh, nah. Fellas in the comments, I don't know if y'all, are y'all shaving y'all booty holes to get ate out? I don't know how this goes. I never I bet got they do, out. for real, for real. If somebody, you they do it? If you really at tune with it and shit, and it's wild, it's because I have a, a certain pair of trimmers that I use for my no-no parts. You got to you know have them. So it's like, my if no -no you had parts. to, if you got to reach all the way back there, you feel what I'm saying? It's because I had that shit with the guard on, you feel what I'm saying? You got just to, to, or you... Just to trim that junk down bleeding. just a little bit, bro. But if you really out there, nair, and you really out there, you I remember one time, I nair my, my one time I nair my balls, bro. Oh, yeah. And that shit was the worst thing I ever did in my whole entire I life. I never bro. did that. Nay, you you feel naked down there, bro. I'm sure. You feel like a newborn baby. In the corners bro. of your shit smell it like be coochie. Coochie. Like, it be too soft. I'm you be not like, binary. whoa. I'm, you be like, you this, a, too soft? this a coochie, nigga? What the fuck? You be figuring yourself like, damn, I'm non binary today. <laughs> <laughs> I smell like non binariness. <laughs> I smell like a they them, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> not a they them parts today. I need to not oh, do this again. Shit, bro, never, dog. Never, dog. Bro. I couldn't do it. All right. So, <laughs> next round. This shit is wild. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got... Nah, we ain't going to do the Punisher again. Oh, they yeah. gave us a Punisher? Yeah, they gave us a Punisher you again. Something. Let's see. We're going to go. We're going to go... Green Lantern. Okay. Green Lantern. The ring. Green Lantern versus... Deadpool. Oh, wait, we already did Green Lantern versus the Iron Man. Okay. And a lot of people actually do think Green Lantern going to win. So, whoa, wait, 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 wait. That's Let's... another white privilege as superhero, too. Oh, God. Wait, we landed on the same ones now. I got to, I got to. You got to fix gotta, the yeah, algorithm. Yeah, I got to, I got to, I got to. Refresh the, the page. All right, so we're going to have Wolverine Ooh. versus Deadpool. Ah, oh, that's a good matchup. Wolverine oh, versus that's a Deadpool. Good one. That's a good match. Damn, Damn oh. I don't. I think it's a draw, bro. Ah, oh, and they both have regeneration too. Yeah, so, so nobody gonna really lose. You just ah. gotta stop fighting. So who's gonna take? Ah, yo, you legit. That's gonna be a funny ass fight, though. Ah, that would be a hilarious fight. Oh my god, that's a the amount of jokes. Fuck, Deadpool is gonna have for Wolverine. It's gonna be insane, and that's an even matchup, bro. I can't think mm -hmm. of who was. Because they made win. from the same factory. They basically, and if they all get fucked up enough, they're gonna be down to their last nub. And what they gonna do? They gonna run they back. Gonna they gonna wait, regenerate, and then they gonna come, come back, back and they gonna fight again, bro. You give me nine months to the rest of my body grows back, you whore. 
As soon as my little baby hand becomes a full hand, I'm going to beat the shit out of your ass, bro. Yo, that's crazy. Dang, bro. Oh. It's definitely got to be like, a, this got to be an ongoing battle for forever. That got to be like, that's like the Bloods and Crips in LA, bro. Like, over and over That again. shit is yeah. like, uh, you going to have a po- moment where everybody cool, then something going to get fucked up again, and then they beefing again. It's going to happen like yep. every five years and shit like that, bro. Yep. It's going to be certain areas you can't go into oh. and shit like that, bro. They're going to be gangbanging. It's going to be like a Jake Paul fight. This is going to be on pay-per-view. <laughs> You gotta watch Deadpool and Wolverine. Dog, damn, that's such I a. I will watch that shit. I really can't decide who would win in that, Th- bro. There is no winning. There's no winning. It's because this is, nah, this shit forever. Nigga. Like, yeah. <laughs> that shit forever, bro. They gotta, like, burn each other up and throw each other body parts across the universe. It gotta be, like, on to the next generation, too, yeah. bro. Yeah. That's next generation shit. Niggas wake up, start gangbanging. They, like, nah, fuck that. We don't fuck with Deadpool. We Wolverine over here with their yeah. little motherfucking claws and Wait shit. Wait till he regenerate in 2029. I will beat the. <laughs> Nigga, come back like Jeepers Creepers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that shit real. Both of them be. 23 years, nigga. Yeah. We fighting like hard, bro. I remember that's one thing about growing up in the country. And uh, like people do game bang, but they have an annual game bang fight. Get the annually fuck out of here. And like, you, uh, and, and you, like, in the you familiar silo? with New York? You familiar with New York, yeah. right? So Brownsville, you know about I know Brownsville? What you're talking about, yeah. So we got we got our own type of Brownsville. It's called it's called the Bricks, bro. It's called uh, what's it the name? Sound crazy. Ah, uh, what's the name of that motherfucker, bro? Uh, is it Greenfield? I think it might be Greenfield. Damn, I feel That's so bad crazy. for the people in the burg. I'm fucking up the name, but it should be Greenfield. So y'all just but, fight. Every year, Bloods and Crips fight there all the time. Like somebody nobody gets shot. dies. Just... Somebody gets shot. But then the thing about the thing about where I came from in Bedford County and in, in Lynchburg to be exact, bro. But uh, about one person, two people die a year during gang violence. Actually, no, no. I think five people got fucked up this year. Damn. So five people getting killed. That's a problem. People still gang banging. That's crazy, right? Like I get it, but People it's just like before what bro? though. I think it's more or less niggas like just grow up into sets or get gang banging into sets, and then it's like you end up fighting the wrong nigga and shit, and then it's like now it's for life and shit. No. I got a couple of niggas, this is for life, bro. Man. That's why I stay out the way. I'm like, I'm finna act a fool if I see them in person, bro. Like I gotta stay out the it way for real. Crazy, bro. man. Cause I had a cousin that one was a blood, one was a crip. And I'm like, how y'all brothers and one is <laughs> this shit is stupid. Oh, they was brothers too? Yeah, man. One of them see? robbed a bank. Or tried to. Bro, for real? Yeah, man. My mama sent me the news, the news article and everything. She Wait, when when did they try to rob a bank? This is like maybe five years ago. Damn, that's early bro it's too yeah. it's too old to be robbing banks i remember my 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 granddad one of my well i call him my pop he ain't really my granddad but he an og that been around that nigga robbed the bank he only did three years because it was during like the 90s so yeah. it's like he ain't so really how much money did he get that's really what i want to know because that's really what it is i ain't gonna lie bro i probably got like 10k that did was he it to, did he have to throw that bitch off the motherfucking river nigga? oh my he god you don't river, even got the 10k caught, <laughs> Damn, it's, like in eighteen hundred, I'd have been robbing the shit out of stagecoaches. Oh, bro, I'd stop have been playing. a menace in eighteen hundred. Like, yo, definitely, There's, it's bro. a lawless type of shit. Like, the harder they fall, I would be the, Nigga, the human version. The of that blam thing. blams. <sighs> He's sweet. <laughs> That's a great movie, by the way, man. That's, That's a great. Right. Movie. Wait, how much did your cousin get from robbing the bank, bro? What bank he robbed? Man, that nigga slid a note to the teller <sighs> of "I'm robbing y'all." And then they five like, years ago, bro. Bro, yeah, two thousand eighteen, bro. Yeah, that nigga out of prison. He, I don't even know how much. I feel like you don't get no time. <laughs> wait, wait, what bank? What like bank that. he robbed? Don't even know. Damn. I just know he slid him a note. I read the report. It said he slid him a note, and then he, and then he got in the car with the money, and then that was the, and then they got him. I was Damn, like, bro, bro. That was the dumbest shit. Dumbest ever. Dumbest shit, bro. But Fuck. you ain't go to jail for real. Because you ain't really do it threatening and violent. I'm about like, to say, yeah, he probably got two years in jail. Yeah, man. like. You slide somebody a note. If Two I'm years a in jail bank, on a I'm year going, of probation. I'm going up. And oh, I'm there. going. I'm I'm airing that bitch out, bro. I'm coming with all the artillery. Oh, and God, bro. This is going to be a planned this event. It. This, this is it. a planned event. We for planned three, four months, bro. You ever seen, uh, what's that movie? With uh, motherfucking Patrick Swayze. Ah, uh, damn. Why am I drawing a blank? Ocean's Eleven type shit. Uh, just some Ocean's Eleven shit, too, for real, for real. I need to have a heist. Yeah, you got to have I a have heist. I no robbing bank, bro. I don't okay. know how people do it. All right, so next round, last round, we got Goku Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan 1. Well, I was about to say, which, okay, 1. Super Saiyan 1, I think his power level is like around like. Uh, it's regular Super Saiyan. Yeah, it's like under a billion. If you said God, I was like, this nigga's winning every fight. Vegeta Super Saiyan 2. 
<laughs> Goku Super Saiyan 1 versus Vegeta Super Saiyan 2. The, f- the wildest part about it, bro, if you line up the power levels, is because I've been having a, the comment section been going crazy, so I actually have to learn about this shit. Um, Goku... Goku Super Saiyan 1 is 700,000 power level. Okay. Uh, Vegeta Super Saiyan 2 is 1 billion power level. Now, the power level can have an advantage, but if it goes down to skill, skill is really the determining factor. You can beat somebody with a lower power level. It sounds like Goku's probably going to win. <sighs> I, and I think that's because they, they planted that Goku is going to always win uh, in our a, mind. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Because like, I fought with Vegeta... I wish they would have a Piccolo story. I wish they would have like a whole entire Piccolo story. I would love to know his story. Because that was a straight nigga. He was the he was a black dude dude. in that film. They just made him green for real, for real. He was Freddie Gibbs. You can tell he a blackish. He was Freddie Gibbs. (laughs) Freddie Gibbs. Piccolo is Freddie Gibbs, bro. (laughs) In my mind, Piccolo is Freddie Gibbs. That's the funniest shit I heard all day, bro. They got the same sort of voice. (laughs) I'm telling you, bro. Piccolo is really Freddie Gibbs, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's so accurate, bro. Oh my god, bro. That's too funny, bro. Like I, it, you could just see it. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> like every time you see Similar, him, head, like head shape and shit, the way they carry themselves, bro. Same Freddie Gibbs shit. be doing some Piccolo shit, bro. That's Freddie, so real, bro. Shout out to Freddie Gibbs for showing his booty hole on the internet. That shit was he wild. His booty hole on you ain't seen that? <laughs> he sent his booty hole to his chick, and they put it on the internet, man. And it just like, oh, this nigga showing his hole. <laughs> That's wild. Oh man. Lord, <laughs> that's another scary thing. Like the higher you grow up, and it's like social, yeah, you can't really, you, you can't, can't even really. send like suggestive pictures. Now this bitch got your dick hole in the goddamn camera. Uh-uh. You got to do just a, a, a standard dick pic with abs showing. Yeah, that I'm way. about to use somebody else's dick. I'm going. Ooh, <laughs> I'm gonna find a dick the same shade as mine, and be like, this my dick. Bloop. Oh God, bro! Because there's no need to you like be very meticulous about shit out here, especially when you move up, bro. Damn, man. he's a, his asshole. You can't on the even internet. date the same for real. Think oh, about that. Shit. You can't, bro. That's why I'm trying to. Because hoes, you, I've been in. You ever? I know you've been in situations where you talk to a chick or you just be around a girl, and then you got the vibe from her, and you be like, oh, yo, let, like, let me get your number. She be like, nah, get my Instagram. You go, uh, and then you come back. They see the numbers, and then they come back and be like. Oh, so you like? Oh, I don't even want to talk to you no more. You know, it's crazy. I even got a, I got an Instagram that I use just for my modeling, like that I put on the the, uh, the modeling. It's because you get on the main board, so hey, I put on the sense. modeling main board. It used to be I used to do children's music back in the day, so it's the children's music page converted into like just my modeling shit. Okay, it's like it has like two hundred followers. I usually, if I have to, I just go for that for real, for real. That way they think uh, I'm just a regular so they nigga. Think you're regular, bro. But then it's like it's wild, is because in the in the first sentence of the bio it has the link to my regular page that way casting it. can know mm-hmm. that i actually do the social media shit but if you don't take the time to really understand you probably think i'm just a basic ass nigga for real, for real. i want to be a basic ass nigga online but i realize you're just not gonna be it at a certain point once yeah. the numbers get to that and you embedded in it nigga when you, you gotta say keep it, that fence bro you gotta keep it bro you got to you gotta find a way to just like at least have something you can like slide off to you feel what i'm saying because i started with social media management so i have yeah. multiple pages nigga, i got I a use. bunch of pages bro I just use it. one of those joints, erase all them joints, archive everything, and just put your own photos on it. So Keep it like it 9 to 12, stuff. and just make that shit. Make it look like you just a random nigga who don't really like Instagram and shit like that, bro. That shit. Well, cra- what's I know, what, what I realized that like Instagram and all the social media shit, it just embeds your digital footprint so big. Yeah. And you said you looked up some, you hit me up like, yo, bro, I looked up some shit by Yin Yang Twins, and your joke well, you about the Yin Yang Twins. Well, like, in the little arm, yo, bro. Like, yo, that's. Yo. When I found Crazy. out about the little arm, bro, niggas, wild, loo- niggas bro. you could hear people lose their mind in the crowd. Like, like wait, bro, what? The little arm, bro. He got the little arm, bro. Niggas don't know about that shit, bro. And then it's like I started doing more research, and there's plenty of fucking YouTube channels. They talk about how bro. they met off disability. One got short leg, one got short arm. That's why they. So yin it's yin like that's why they yin yang. You bro. know what I'm saying? Like it's crazy to learn that shit about like a lot of niggas we grew up watching. They motherfucking little disabled. To be honest, and you shit, you didn't even bro. know they was disabled. You don't even know, bro. You be like, they just twerking with hoes, having them whistle while yeah, they the twerk. Yeah, the little, little arm holds our time. She twerking on, but he the yin yang twin, so that's why she popping it open. And she ain't letting motherfucking nothing there because she, she trying to get goddamn kids. You don't want shit. no yin yang baby. 
<laughs> Come on. Boy, boy, boy. Uh, Yo, you know what's crazy, bro? All right, so when I was growing up, bro, all right, I used to hang out with older kids and shit. I was like 12 hanging out with niggas who was like 16, 17, bro. Yeah. So the thing about when you younger and around niggas, like the nigga who's the lowest tier in that group, he going to fight you. So you got to fight an older nigga. You got to learn how to fight, bro. Oh, I used to have to fight the nigga DJ. Shout out to that nigga DJ. DJ had a little ret- arm bro he had a little a little slow arm you feel what i'm saying and that motherfucker was just it was jammed like this motherfucker be walking around like this bro he really full blown like slow slow like under under the under the uh stairs classroom type motherfucker bro but we used to play football all the time oh and everybody used to pick on him and then since i was the youngest and i was small like i ain't grow until i was like 19 so during this time <laughs> i'm like 5 2 120 then motherfucker like 5 8 160, bro. He fighting me every single time. I had to learn how to fight. You ever got hit with a, a little, no. a little stupid arm, bro? <laughs> that motherfucker hurt, bro. Like, I had to learn you don't how know how it come. That motherfucker, it come the whole thing, bro. <laughs> like, like, I had to learn how to fight DJ, bro. Like, and you know how he got that little slow Yo. strength. The slow strength is a different type That's of strength. That's a different strength, bro. That's a different type of strength. So I really had to like fight. That's how I learned oh. how to fight fighting DJ. Shout out my boy DJ Shout for real, for real. DJ with the but I uh, had a little yin yang twin arm. Minute motherfucker start making fun of him. He look at me, he throw the football at me. What the what the arm? He throw that motherfucker and I'm like, damn, I gotta fight these niggas today lost. now, bro. I'd have lost. I gotta it. fight him today now, bro. Don't it hit took, me with the little arm. It took me like five times to really learn how to motherfucking dodge that motherfucker. <laughs> Cold clap to that motherfucker, bro. Had to go in the house afterwards. Like, <laughs> I'm about to go do homework. You can't tell nobody you lost to a nigga with a little arm. You can't, bro. You just gotta go. You gotta go like, back uh, home. You gotta hype yourself up in the mirror. You gotta be like, I'm gonna I'm come not- back a better person the next day. <laughs> Funny as shit. Bro, but yeah, that's how I learned how to fight. How to fight oh, DJ with a little hilarious. arm, bro. Like a little stupid arm, bro. That shit. <laughs> oh, nigga, fight the nigga with the little arm is crazy. Damn, bro. Oh, oh yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, shout out to everybody. You feel saying this is the end of the dope funny podcast, bro. <laughs> shout out to my boy Fur. Not too many Yo. people. I feel like that's a select group of people. You gotta fight somebody with a little slow yeah. arm, bro. You know that motherfucker. Uh. Oh man, that shit is a is a. And it's wild, is because I was a smart kid too growing up too. So I'm younger and I'm a smart kid. So I'm a nerd and I'm hanging out with all these kids. They like big and they like. They like mildly like slow like tight shit, bro. So I gotta fight, fight, bro. I gotta. I gotta fight for my respect, Yo, bro. Like no, no, man. <laughs> Oh, this is hilarious. Man, thank you so much, bro, for coming Yo. on this motherfucker, bro. I appreciate oh, you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, let the, guy, uh, let the people know Yo, whatever man. you got coming up, bro. <laughs> I don't know when it's coming out, but y'all can follow me on everything. Y-O-F-U-R-G, what up? Say, oh, Ferg, what up? <laughs> You'll hear it. Uh, man, it's on everything. TikTok is Yo, Ferg, Y-O-F-U-R-G. Everything else, Yo, Ferg, what up? You'll find it on everything, bro. Yeah, I just be talking crazy online, man. <laughs> That's all I do. That's, <laughs> that's what they pay me to do, so I'm going to do it till I die. So, Oh, God, bro. If you get offended, that's your fault. Yeah, that's simple, And you got to fight a nigga with it. It was low, bro. So, I got to ask niggas, hey, anybody in the comments, have y'all ever fought anybody with like a handicapped arm or foot? <laughs> Please let us know, Please. Bro. I, I don't want to be the only person who you had to do that for real. I want to be the only one. I hooped with somebody who had the foot that was on the tiptoe every time. Really? Yeah. He was, was he cold? He was good coming around screens because he could whip around the screen because <laughs> he was already on his toe. So that nigga was just whipping. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Left but turn. But defense? Oh, oh, nigga. I'm frying this nigga on defense. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm cooking this nigga with the little handicap foot. I'm going crazy. I'm not taking no... I'm not taking no sympathy crossovers here. I'm ki- hitting you with all of the sauce. <laughs> I'm going crazy because you already know, bro. You know what you got. <laughs> you came you know, out here. You can't go to the left, ma. Yeah. Hey, just let him shoot. He cool. He off balance. Just already. back off. Just back off. <laughs> he got a quick first time. <laughs> he be like, when I'm going offense, I'm going to fuck these motherfuckers up, bro. <laughs> Yo. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> we got going to hell a little bit. Oh, man. Anyway, catch you guys later. <laughs>